United States government reacts after Peter will be dragged INEC and APC to election tribunal. Thank you for tuning in to the news. Kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking to the subscribe button and bell for more news. The news details. According to reports circulating on different social media, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared the former governor of Lagos State, former senator who represented the good people of Lagos West during the Third Republic, and the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Adekunle Tinumbu, as the president elect, after he pulled the highest votes to defeat the former governor of a number of states and presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Gregory Obi, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, and other presidential candidates in the 2023 presidential election. However, the outcome of the highly controversial polls has been attracting mixed reactions from civil society groups as well as international observers. Following the outcome of the 2023 elections, the flag bearer of the Labour Party, LP, Peter Obi, has filed a petition against the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, at the election tribunal. Reacting to this development, the United States government, through the U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, has noted that the presidential polls of February 25 failed to meet the expectations of Nigerians. However, she noted that it is a welcome decision for Peter Obi and other aggrieved parties to seek redress at the court of law. According to her words, Mary Beth Leonard said, In the coming days, it will be important for the future of this country and that the legal established process for resolving challenges to the election be allowed to take its course. Now concerning the presidential election between the different parties, Ashwa Dubala Metinubu was declared the winner. Now, the first position, the first in the position is Ashwaji Balame Tunubu, followed by Atiku Abubakar. Obi is in third place. And Obi is saying that this election we did, this is not the real results. We have all evidences without, and he has to file case, go to court and say, we are going to challenge our results. But Obi, with some thought play, did not even ask why PDP is not taking court seriously. Now the son will, will, will clean chop, claim out, and say sorry, our Supreme Court is the problem. Obi does not even know that the Supreme Court won't bring down Nigeria to please him. And at the end of the day, the final judgment will arrive months later when Ashwaji Balame Tunumbu will be busy with national assembly assignments. With national assignment, sending representatives to courts and feeling sorry for Peter Obi. Now Peter Obi has, is, has taken it up and is willing that this result, it is not ours. We are going to fight this result in court and we believe that we shall win this results because this is not our own results whereas the EU's chief observer says we saw evidence of vote buying now as controversy surrounding the transparency of Nigeria's 2023 elections continue EU's chief observer at the election Barry Andrews said there were several shortcomings Broadly speaking, we were able to see that there was evidence of vote buying. It's too early for us to conclude how 
widespread this was, he said. As well as the delays uploaded on the results, he noted a clear anomaly between the fact that votes for the presidential election were not uploaded, whereas votes for the legislative elections were uploaded. Our message is very clear that we would encourage any complaint to be brought through the appropriate legal channels. But our observations certainly bear out significant shortcomings in the electoral process. Several photos of ballots said to show evidence of ballot tampering are also circulating on social media. Now, the, the, the photos have been checked and traced back to uploads on INEC server. There were also instances where instead of uploading a photo of a presidential election result to the INEC website, mugshots of people appear to have posted, have been posted. There's also been reported a mix-up of presidential election results from some of Nigerian statistic states. For instance, lots of results from Shokoto in the north were uploaded to where results from polling units from rivers in the south should be should have been. Shokoto was won by Mr. Abubakar, while Mr. Tsunobu won rivers, which had been expected to back Mr. Ubi. This wrong, wrong uploads affected results in many states. Subsequent checks show that many of the affected polling units now have the right results. The Electoral Act mandates that party agents, INEC officials, and the security officer in each unit will have copies of the signed results that is uploaded to the INEC server. As such, parties should have evidences of the original results to back up any claims that results have been changed. There are viral posts online showing results purported to be from polling units where voting did not occur in reality, but these are yet to be verified. Now, Peter Ubi has taken those presidential results to court to lay his evidences that these are the real results to what in this presidential election. We have come to the end of the news. Thank you for tuning in once again. Don't forget to share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.